Yeah, I just realized when I walk this whole stretch how modern Bangkok looks. And it's so much light, it's almost, uh, it's almost like you're in Tokyo or in Seoul. Good evening. I'm here in front of MBK and it's a quarter to seven and I just realized the really nice colors here in the evening so I just wanted to share it with you guys yeah as I'm always saying Bangkok is changing a lot and a lot of new developments so this is a very good example this is a new office uh, tower that's been built here and it's almost finished I do not know what the name is but I will find out and I will uh, put it on the bottom of this video yeah I like how they made all the colors here So here you have the Bangkok Art and Culture Center, which I will show you for sure in another time. And then here when you walk through here, you'll get to the Siam Discovery and then you'll end up at Siam Paragon. And here you have all the BTS lines. So this is the line that comes from National Stadium, which we also call the Silam Line. And this is the line that comes from the north, which is the Sukhumvit line. The weather is very, very nice now. Today was uh, a lot of overcast the whole day. It was cloudy. And it's maybe 28 degrees or something so let's have a, a little walk towards Siam Square So I think they, uh, they did a really great job with making this uh, square here before it was quite difficult to, to get across Here you can see it from the ground floor. You know, you put a little bit of light somewhere and it uh, completely changes the atmosphere. Yeah, I made a video, uh, I think it was like one and a half month ago about uh, MBK. So in the meanwhile, the Tokyo shop closed and uh, that was already announced and there is some renovations going on inside and you can see on the outside already that they upgraded it uh, very good and for those who know this area in Bangkok they might remember that here here, here you see in front you have the, the little sky bridge and that used to go into a building which was a kind of a shopping mall as well and that building is completely uh, gone now and there is where they built the new office tower which is this one it's 
massive. So here we go to Siam Square. Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember, I made a um, video about this building that I thought looked like a church. Now look at this. I think there is a new architect in town that makes this kind of... Uh, this kind of design. Very interesting. And I see another building project coming up there in front that I haven't noticed before and that's in front of the Hard Rock Cafe and I did read that the Hard Rock Cafe is gonna close down here in Bangkok I don't know if that's a COVID thing or that it has to do with uh, the constructions that are going on here As you can see, this is the back, the back of the Hard Rock Cafe. Okay, so the only thing I can see here is it says Future Con. I'm not sure. Yeah, so the Hard Rock Cafe is still open here, but not for long. I like Hard Rock Cafe sometimes for, uh, for dinner. If you know Hard Rock Cafe, we always go for the Jumbo Combo, which is like a, a mix of everything. Yeah, I just realized when I walk this whole stretch how modern Bangkok looks. <laughs> I mean, I already knew that it's a modern city, but you can really you can really see the upgrades are paying off. And it's so much light, it's almost uh, it's almost like you're in Tokyo or in Seoul. So this mall here is the Sime Square one and that one uh, connects directly with um, the Siam BTS station. So I just wanted to give a small update about the shopping district in Bangkok. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to subscribe and see you guys in my next uh, video.